dear students welcome to the problem solving session on change of variables we are going to change the cartesian coordinates into polar coordinates i'll go to the problem directly for a theory part we'll make a separate video by changing into polar coordinates find the value of the given integral first we have to check whether the order is correct or not we have dy and we can see the limits are in x so it is in the correct order as usual let us write the given integral let us take it as capital i now i want to convert this problem into polar coordinates so we have to write the information about the polar coordinates we know the polar coordinates we assume x equal to r cos theta y equal to r sin theta next from the from the transformation using jacobian we can find either dy dx or dx dy it is going to be r into dr into d theta then x square plus y square we can easily see it is going to be r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta taking r square in common we get cos square theta plus sin square theta we know that that is 1 therefore x square plus y square is equal to r square whenever we convert the problem into polar coordinate from cartesian coordinate we have to write this then we can convert the problem easily from x y to r and theta step 3 so we have to write the given equations since the outer integral as x it is going to be constant therefore x equal to 0 x equal to a and the inner integral as y so y equal to 0 now see the last equation it is not in a proper form it is like y equal to square root of a square minus x square we have to write the simplified version squaring on both sides we get y square is equal to a square minus x square so x square plus y square is equal to a square this is my equation 4 all this three equations are straight lines and by seeing this immediately i can say this is a circle with center 0 0 and radius a done so now we know all information about our equations as usual step 4 we are going to draw the diagram before that write the simplified content now let us go into the step 4 first we have the axis we put the simplest equations y equal to 0 then x equal to 0 then then x equal to a listen we have to observe see my x limit start from 0 and ends at a that means the region coverage is like this the horizontal region it is covering like this and my lower limit of y is 0 that means it moves from bottom to top therefore now you see x is moving from left to right and y is moving from bottom to top that means the region covered by the given equations are in only first quadrant now the final equation we have the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square we took somewhere a comma 0 draw the line and circle now you should not get mislead that this is my closed region this is not my closed region reason my x value start from 0 to a it moves like this horizontally my y value start from 0 and it is moving towards the circle therefore my region is going to be the first quadrant the region which is shaded in yellow hope you understand students this is my diagram now this is not my cartesian coordinate listen just to make a vertical strip or to draw a horizontal strip this is polar coordinates i have to convert the problem in terms of r and theta r is some radial length theta is the angle so let us have some small visualization as i said theory part i'll put a separate video later we can just have a quick idea about the polar coordinate do you know in our childhood we make chinese span we take the paper and we fold it like this and then we tie at one end and we can easily open it we'll get the chinese span the same thing here students you see this is my cartesian coordinates we have x and y now when you fold it either x or in y direction the length or breadth will vary but when you tie after folding it now when you open it this length will never get vary suppose say it as r only the angle is going to vary do you understand the chinese span when it is closed it is the angle is zero i can tilt it up to 360 degree hope you understand so this is going to be my transformation from cartesian to 
polar denistan the xy coordinate to r and theta i'll give some more visualization examples hope you understand now you can see this is my cartesian coordinates x comma y i can take any point and then i can convert this into a polar coordinates like this so this is my length r and here in the polar coordinate the angle is going to change hope you understand the idea about this problem now you can see the visualization of the chinese fan so when you close it from here so when you close you can see the angle is reducing when you open you can see the angle is increasing but the length r is fixed it will never change hope you understand the idea students now how to choose the strip in our figure this is our figure and we found the first quadrant is the region so as i said in the chinese fan the hold is in one point in this problem see here the hold is here so i am going to change only the angle so let us choose the strip you can see i can choose the strip like this hope you understand so now here is the starting point only the angle is going to choose here is the starting point only the angle is going to change so i can choose the strip like this hope you understand students next the diagram gets over only my first quadrant is covered so i am just zooming the diagram to the first quadrant step 5 we are going to find the limits so here the limits are angle and r that is theta and r now it is easy for me to see the region covered only in the first quadrant now we can see the angle the angle covered from here to here so theta is going to be 0 to theta is equal to pi by 2 d theta when we convert the problem into polar coordinate we are going to get f of r comma theta dr d theta so my outer limit is going to be some angle theta 1 theta 2 inner limit is r1 r2 therefore outer limit is always constant i will express the angle in terms of radian should not write in number so i have to write pi by 2 pi by 4 pi by 3 pi etc therefore the angle is 0 to pi by 2 now we have to find the r value see here this is the starting point here x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 i want to find r we know from step the relation is x square plus y square equal to r square x equal to r cos theta y equal to r sin theta using these three equations we can able to find the r limit so at this origin x is 0 y is 0 we know that x square plus y square equal to r square so 0 plus 0 equal to r square therefore i can write my r limits is going to be 0 and then we can see the strip is touching the circle x square plus y square equal to a square again from the polar coordinate we have x square plus y square equal to r square now equating this two will be getting r square equal to a square we are going to take the positive value r equal to a therefore my r limits are 0 to a done students now we found the elements step 6 is very important we are going to convert the problem from cartesian coordinate to polar coordinate for this better you write the question again now dy dx or dx dy it is going to be r into dr into d theta and from the polar coordinate step 2 x square plus y square is r square since the outer limit is angle just now we found in the previous step 0 to pi by 2 and the inner limit is 0 to a the so square root of r square is going to be r r into r is r square see we have converted the problem in terms of polar coordinate step 7 evaluation we take the problem and then integrate this will be getting integral 0 to pi by 2 r cube by 3 integral 0 to a d theta when you substitute will be getting a cube by 3 integral 0 to pi by 2 d theta integration of d theta is going to be theta substitute the upper and lower limit we will be getting a cube by 3 pi by 2 minus 0 therefore my final solution is going to be pi a cube by 6 therefore capital i is equal to pi a cube by 6 now i come to a very important question why i want to change the variable 
now there is a challenge students you take this problem you solve as usual do the double integral or change of order something is going to be very very tough so sometimes when the problem is getting tougher and tougher i cannot do by the normal method in this situation if i try to change the variable of this problem then we have a chance that the problem can be solved in a very simple way using change of different variables now you see this problem is very tough but how we solved in a very simple manner we get the answer pi a cube by 6 which is not easy job when you do in the cartesian coordinate so now it's time for quick recap the students who want to write the material i just give all the problem in three slides yes step 1 we take the correct order step 2 we write the polar coordinates step 3 we identify the equations and we found circle passes through the center 0 0 and the radius a step 4 we draw the appropriate diagram and then step 5 we have to find the limits from the given diagram step 6 is very important convert the problem into polar coordinates from the cartesian coordinate step 7 evaluation of this problem it is going to be very simple and we get the answer pi a cube by 6 hope you understand students thank you for watching we hope you found this video helpful stay tuned for more and keep up the great work subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video bye bye